Welcome back, everybody. Uh, James, what do you think? We do Cuero in the morning, uh, Hallisville at noon, and then get to Goliath in the afternoon. Port Lavaca, you got to port. Oh, port and then we got to go through Port Lavaca. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a busy weekend, and it's fortunately, I've got it under control for you. Today, of course, we had those winds that were picking picking up. I mean, it wasn't the end of the world, but they were blowing some hair around. I know. I, whatever hair we have left. Uh, you can see how winds peaked out at about 25 to 35 miles an hour. Tomorrow it's the same deal because uh, this is the same pattern that we're waiting for until the next frontal system comes through us. We've got high pressure over the Gulf. It's blowing that air up into this big area of low pressure, which is one of those West Coast storms that have been pounding the West Coast. We uh, see also that the storm centers are beginning to move up a little farther north. Well, what that means is that the warm air is slowly moving northbound and winter is slowly retreating back into Canada and to the Arctic. But that is our next weather maker. It's going to be rolling across the plains. You can see it producing heavy stuff right about here. But as the front comes through, it's just going to be very weak by the time it gets to our area. It will possibly trigger a few little showers and we'll show you how much uh, and when that should arrive. Uh, here is the concern that we have that severe weather from North Texas out to West Texas. Here's San Antonio, here's Waco, and of course, we're not included in that, and that's good. Nonetheless, if you're driving out for the weekend and you're going to be dr dealing with this, this is all on Thursday night into Friday, and the good news is that it's going to be gone in time for the weekend. So, a few sprinkles possible overnight. The fog is back, the, cl the clouds are back, the atmosphere is cooled down. But tomorrow morning, you'll see uh, the cloud deck, and then it burns off. We're looking for more and more sunshine for the afternoon hours. Now, here is Thursday. And you can see how quickly that system moves through on Friday. So what happens after Friday? Saturday. And that's why I'm, I'm glad to report that we're going to have a pretty good uh, outcome for the weekend and all those activities. This evening we're at 73, uh, already on the overcast side. Tonight we'll only get down to 67, so not cool at all. And we're looking for cloudy skies, a little fog developing by morning, not only on land, but also in the outer water. So there is a uh, craft, small craft advisor for that. Tomorrow, we're looking for a high of 82. It'll be the same summer sandwich. We'll get the cloud cover in the morning. We'll break off about noontime, about four or five hours of sun. And then the cloud deck will get back in, still on the breezy side. So let's go through the seven days. We've got 82 tomorrow. And then again, 82 on Friday. Don't worry about this front. You know why? Because it's coming in late, about Friday midnight. So the rain chance with that frontal passage will be late at night. And then the good news is by Saturday morning, it's all gone. Look at that. We're getting down to 53 and uh, 55 in the morning, getting up to high of 80 because abundant sunshine. And then still nice on Saturday, but Saturday night, we start picking up more clouds and Believe it or not, another frontal system coming in on Tuesday of next week. But that's the uh, seven-day outlook, and we hope you have a good one. Don't, don't forget the QR code. Um, it's a quick response, and you can uh, download it on your phone. You can take Crossroads today wherever you want to go. James, Karina, back to you. All right.